know how much of a Taui fan I am. Let's say hello to Lydia. Hello, guys. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Very, very good, thanks. Thanks for joining us on today's show. Thanks for having me. Now, um, obviously, a lot of people are looking forward to The Only Way is Essex Christmas special, which I believe is on Tuesday coming up. Yeah, yes, it is. Um, it's going to be really, really good. We've been filming for it for the past week, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I think everyone's going to be really shocked and surprised, and, uh, yeah, it's going to be bigger and better. So what, what, what kind of things can we expect? Is it the same, the same stuff that we've seen in Series 1, 2, and 3? Um, I think you're, you're still going to see the same characters, of course, um, and there's going to be drama, there's going to be like relationships. Um, I think Tower, you can always see a lot of action and uh, funny parts as well. So, yeah, you've got a lot to look forward to. And it's, um, it's our James's birthday as well, so you'll see his birthday party on there, which is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> and also, you guys, I'm at the, you've recorded a charity single last Christmas, um, The Only Way is Essex cast. Yeah, yeah, we have. We've um, we're releasing a uh, our rendition of Last Christmas, um, and it's it is really really good. Um, it's started being shown on all the music channels yet, but it's not um, it's not going to be released until the 18th. Um, but we're really excited about it. We did a lot of promotional work for it, and all the proceeds go to um, charity. So we were really really lucky to get involved and and help raise awareness for charities and raise a lot of money. Which today I think the um, I think the charity, which is ITV Tech Centre, has raised like one million and seventy. Six thousand pounds, so it's doing really, really well. So we're really happy that we we can uh, we can help raise money for it as well. And there's also a campaign on Twitter at the moment as well to get that single to number one. Are you are you kind of optimistic that's going to happen? I'm really, really hoping it, but uh, I know that we're up against some like tough people and people with some like amazing talent. Like obviously you've got the X Factor, uh, Little Mix. Um, there's Military Wire, Justin Bieber. I know there's loads and loads out there. So, so I am I am optimistic. But if we don't make it, I'm still very thankful that we've made a good try. And um, and at the end of the day, it's all about raising the money for the charity. So as many people that buy, we're just thankful for all of them. Now, when you were recording the single, would you say there was somebody who, who wasn't as strong a singer as anyone else? Yeah, that would have probably <laughs> been me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> to be fair, the main singers actually in it are James and Jessica because they're natural singers anyway. Um, Jessica obviously was in the girl band. James is the crooner. Um, and all the other Tally cast, we just kind of had a laugh with it and did the chorus. But um, but we, we none of us got the main parts. It's kind of all just let, let down to them too. Now, how is your cake shop going? Because in Series 3, we've seen you kind of starting up. So is that going well for you at the moment? Yeah, the shop's going really well for us. We sell clothes and gifts as well. So it's quite it's quite a random sort of shop, but it works really well. It's really unique. And we're going online as well in the new year because how successful we've been. So we're really looking forward to that. And, and hopefully then all people from all over the country, obviously, like you guys that can't obviously get up to Essex um, that easily, you can like buy online things. So we're really, really looking forward to building the brand in the new year. Now, um, who would you say in the show is kind of your best mate in, out of all the other cast members? Who do you get on with the most? Uh, my best friend will probably be Lucy. Um, yeah, I think that she's probably my closest friend, but I'm close to all the girls, to be fair. Um, I'm really close to Lauren, Sam and Billy. Um, I've known all the girls for years. We've all grown up together, so I, I kind of get along with everyone. So, um, so it's nice that I kind of don't have arguments with any of the other girls and I just kind of keep like the civil one. Uh, what what's it like for you when you watch yourself back? Because in some of the series, like series two and three, it it did show you sometimes getting in a few kind of arguments with people. When you watch that back, how how does that make you feel? Um, I think sometimes when you watch it back, you kind of think, oh gosh, did I really say that? Um, what did I do? Maybe I, I reacted in a wrong way. But at the end of the day, it's just our natural life. And sometimes mm. you say things and you regret it afterwards. And sometimes you say things out of, out in a rage and, and afterwards you reflect and think that what you said is wrong. But that's what kind of makes the show and people enjoy watching it because we are normal people and everyone makes mistakes and everyone has arguments and everyone has like, love interests. And I think that's kind of why people, yeah, relate to the show. So you just have to kind of bite the bullet and, and, um, and just get on with it really and for you out of because obviously you've been in f throughout the whole series what's the biggest highlight for you from doing the only way is essex 
Uh, my biggest highlight for me would probably be winning the BAFTA because I don't think any of us, when we first started out, thought that that would anyway be impos- like be possible. Um, it was never something that we kind of reached for. And when it came about, all of us were just in complete and utter shock. And then to go and actually win it, um, I think all of us, that was just an amazing achievement for like normal people that haven't ever like been to acting school or trained to, to be on television. Um, it, we're just normal people. And I just think it just goes to pr- prove that anything's possible and that, uh, that, yeah, you just keep, got to keep on like fighting and following your dreams. So I think that that was probably a big, a big highlight for all of us. Well, that, that was awesome when you won that. But um, I'm not yeah. sure if you're allowed to talk about this, but there's a lot of rumours at the moment in the papers that a lot, a lot of the cast and a, quite a lot of them have been axed from the show. Is, is it as bad as we read or... Are you allowed to talk about that as much? I think that there's always going to be like a few rumours around and, and um, like newspapers and magazines are speculating whether people will be at and stuff. But to be honest, none of us have been given concrete um, concrete answers that we will be back or we won't be back. We're just going to have to wait until the new year. Um, the show's always constantly changing and new people are, people are moving on like people doing careers. They go on to bigger and better things and um, change paths. So we'll just have to wait until the new year and, and kind of hope that we'll all be in it or the people that are moving on, they're going to move on to, to better things. But, yeah, none of us really know yet. Nothing's certain. Lydia, it's been absolutely fantastic speaking to you today on the show. It really has. Thank you for joining us. And good luck with the single. Let's hope it gets to number one. Thank you very much. Be awesome. Have, have a really nice day. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. And Merry Christmas to and everyone. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, she's